Bandwidth for MacBreak is brought to you by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Brian Gary. You may recall one of my finer moments, might even be my shining moment here at MacBreak Studio, where I showed host Alex Lindsay how to make the coolest thing in GarageBand. In fact, I think it even underscored my level of coolness and took me up to an even higher level of coolness. But in that uh, podcast, I made the mistake of referencing some young chump, uh, my nephew, Josh Henry, which some of you probably had the vision of some five-year-olds in there going, Uncle Brian, you're stupid. Well, this is young nephew right here. And he felt it, that he needed to not only save you, fair audience, from me, but save GarageBand, Apple, and everything else from my lack of coolness. But we need to kind of have some, some common ground here. I get it. You're younger than me, obvious. Uh, you're better looking. Uh, you're in better shape. Um, you have probably had a much better life up to this point. But uh, besides that, I had, I had encoding. And then I had GarageBand. For that brief moment, I had it. I was on the stage in the sun. And you're here to take that away. I'm not here to take it away. It's more a fact that, uh, you know, I mean, you're a smart guy, and everybody knows that, and, and, and no one's taking that away from you. Mm. But um, I found it amusing that you were uh, so butthurt from my dude, your dork comment, that you <sighs> felt the need to um, try to show me up without me even being here to defend myself. Yeah. So, uh, so what I'd like to do today is, is just kind of show you another use for GarageBand that's, um, yes, cooler than yours, which wasn't that cool, and, uh, and, <laughs> and usable by a much broader audience. Um, one oh. of the you know, biggest gadgets today that everyone has and everyone's enjoying is? An iPhone. Absolutely. I have. Cool I factor. Have. Up a little bit. Give you that. Yeah. Now tell me this. What is your uh, ringtone for the iPhone? <laughs> the submarine sound. What else? Right. Cool what? factor. Oh, yeah. what's yours? It depends on who's calling me. And if I call you? You don't want to know. Got it. Point being, okay. now, now, now the, the ringtones have been a really kind of a phenomenon in the last few years. It's mm -hmm. a really popular thing, especially with the younger folk. But it, got, it can kind of actually go beyond just being hip and trendy and Keon, Keon, uh, Kanye West or whatever playing when, uh, when uh, someone calls you. Right. You can actually personalize your ringtones, especially with the iPhone, and assign certain people different ringtones. So if your phone's a, you know, a little bit away and you hear it going off, you're like, oh, that's so-and-so. That's the wife. I better get it. Or that's my boss. I don't want to answer it. Whatever the case may be. Or Uncle Brian. I need to run. Uncle to Brian. Bed. Oh, boy. What could it be? <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> so the... You've, you've, we've been limited in the past, though, where most people are, if they don't know any better, of only being able to download certain ringtones that iTunes has said, this can be used as a ringtone for the iPhone, okay. and then, of course, paying for it, which <laughs> likes to pay for things. Yes. So there's actually a way, an easy way, that Apple has given us, whether they knew it or not, to create a custom ringtone in iTunes and using GarageBand. Okay. Well, I, and here I, in uh, iTunes, I have a, a song. A friend of mine is uh, Michael J. Okay. Uh, MichaelJMusic.com, if you're interested, if you hear this and you like it. So... Let's just, it's a song called Maria Full of Grace. Let's just say my girlfriend's name is Maria. Okay. And we can use this song, and you're going to make a, a ringtone out of a piece of this song. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch GarageBand. We've already got it open here. We're going to go create a new music project. Just go ahead, and you can leave it as a default my song. Save it to the desktop. That, none of that matters because you're going to delete it anyway. Okay. So let's go create. Now, what's interesting about this is you got a lot of people in post-production who have really... Um, taken a hold of the iPhone because in so many edit suites on the different lots, you, you can't have a machine that's connected to the internet. So the only way you can get your email is through you know, an iPhone or some kind of you know, smartphone like that. So we have a lot of creative people who have iPhones who are using them in the industry. Absolutely. Yeah. And now they have the ability to, uh, to personalize it even more. So what the, one of the things we're going to do, excuse me, first thing we're going to do is delete the, the track that's already in there, just so just command delete, and that goes away. Then we're going to open your media browser. Now, this uh, Michael J. song happens to be the only thing we have in this iTunes library, but we, you see we have it all here. We're going to drag it, drop it. It loads it up. 
Now, one of the things that's cool about Loads is that it's not just songs that have been downloaded from the iTunes store. Anything that you put in your iTunes library, whether it's um, a song you downloaded from the Internet that you took off one of your own CDs or sound you bought from the or store or a sound effect or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. can be loaded into this. Um, as long as it's in um, an a, uh, um, AAC or MP3 or whatever format. Okay. So um, we have the song here. Now the next thing we want to do is go to the uh, loop icon and click that because uh, ringtone can only be, I believe it's 30 seconds max, and then it's just going to repeat those 30 seconds. Okay. And this is your loop indicator here, and you can drag this out to, let's say, 20 seconds. And it's going to actually go up to... 25, and it doesn't matter if you go too long. GarageBand will tell you, "Hey, this is too long," mm -hmm. and it'll trim it down for you. Now we already know that a chorus for this song starts at a minute 21, so we're going to drag this out to 121. And you know, I could show you a shortcut there that might make that easier. Please but do. I'm not, no, I'm not going to. I want to see you struggle. No, get some cool points. You can, uh, you know, zoom in. See this little uh, bar down here in the corner? Look how that allows me to zoom in on the media file, making it easier to see the entire media. Well, you do know something. That is amazing. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, where would we be here? 181? Yeah, that sounds about right. That's our start point. Let's give it a quick listen. Yeah, that's so right in. Okay. So we're going to start there, and that's going to go right into the chorus of this song, and then it's just going to you know, repeat that over and over again. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, bump up the volume here just to make sure that it's uh, the highest decibel level possible so that uh, we can hear it from You're going to turn it up maybe. to 11, then? Right. Yeah. Keep trying. It's but... a spinal tap for <laughs> those of you who remember that movie, but keep going. So then it's as simple as go share, send ringtone to iTunes. Okay. Uh, see, there we go. Length needs to be adjusted. So go ahead, whatever. Adjust it yourself. Okay. And it should start. So it's going to do the conversion, take that loop, and then send it over somewhere. Yeah. Is it going, oh, you know what? We've got to do it again because it adjusted it. So okay. we have to resubmit it. So, so there it goes very quick. And unlike any good cooking show, we don't have to have it already done because it just happens that quickly. Now here's a song in the, ring, in the ringtones tab in iTunes. Uh -huh. It starts playing automatically. Now, by okay. default, we can, it says my song. We can change that to be, um, you know. Maria. Oh, God, Brian's calling. <laughs> and uh, set the artist, album, whatever you'd like, whatever you'd like. Yeah. And so then when you plug in your phone, just sync that to your phone. And then go in your contacts, whoever you want that to be for. And then, you know, make that their uh, custom ringtone, default ringtone for that person. Okay. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, Josh Henry's also, uh, uh, in addition to being my nephew, which could arguably be enough, <laughs> but he's also an actor. You can check out his website at joshhenry.com, which I do have to say, even though I am related to him, he's got one of the coolest headshots out there. I'll just let you discover that on your own. And uh, part-time, he also works at the Apple Store, so hopefully this segment gets you fired. Thanks, Josh. Very well, me. All right. Thank you, Brian. And again, I'm Brian Gary, and you've been watching MacBreak Studio, the cool place to find the cool stuff.